On tonight to a consumer justice investigation into what some call hostage movers. Some customers are accusing an Arlington based company of loading up their goods and jacking up the price. And then if you can't pay, they hold your stuff hostage. Got our Kristen Severance on this explaining why, after months of complaints and in fact hundreds of federal violations, that company is still in business. And it appears it's business as usual. They have no state license, their federal license has been revoked. But the complaints keep coming in. I don't know how to explain just not having your things. Teresa Riley has lived in a nearly empty home since January. She financed the couch we're sitting on. Because I got tired of sitting on my blow up mattress. The only thing on her wall. I'm glad that I had it in my car. A plaque honoring her mother. My angel. I could think about her real hard. And she would call me. She hired presidential moving services to move her from Florida to Texas after she lost her mom to cancer. I think that I wasn't on my game looking after this company. Presidential quoted her $3,500. She put down a deposit. When it was all loaded, the price jumped to $4,200. You go, she says, well, um, you won't be getting your stuff until you pay all the money that you owe. And when the movers arrived in Haltom City, they wanted another $2,900. She couldn't pay. They drove off. I'm mad that they have my entire life on that truck. What I should have done right then was told them to unload and leave. Keith Asbell hired Presidential to move his family from California to Oklahoma. Our estimate went from around $4,000 to 9700 and some change. When he called the company, You're going to pay us this money. If you don't, your stuff is ours. They waited weeks for their stuff to get there, including a shower lift, a hospital bed, and other equipment for his special needs daughter. Being ripped off is one thing. Having your daughter's life in danger, that's another. He's heard from nearly 100 people with similar stories. He helps run a Facebook. Facebook group filled with victims. This is what I do. I'm retired and I spend all day helping our members. They're lying to folks. They're saying the contract doesn't matter. Adam Price of the Fort Worth BBB said they've heard from 83 customers since August. On average, each person is out $3,200. Presidential has an F rating. They're not answering the telephone. They're not returning emails. The company's corporate headquarters comes back to this warehouse in Arlington. No name on the building with a for lease sign in the window. This is a Texas based company that doesn't even have a Texas DMV license. The DMV has received 136 complaints about presidential. In October, the agency began a joint investigation with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, which regulates trucking companies. In this report obtained by Consumer Justice, we found the violations added up fast. They were cited for delivering shipments late or not at all, charging more than the original estimate, illegal brokering, misleading advertisements. The DMV found 256 violations and fined the company nearly $650,000. Presidential hasn't paid it. They can open a new company, get a new DOT number under a new name, and they start right back up business as usual. Investigators linked two presidential employees, Andre Shuklin and Phyllis Ricci, to a dozen other company names. Our own research uncovered potentially a dozen more. The feds revoked presidential's operating license on March 19th. But we went to the warehouse that same day and found a mover driving an enterprise truck. Who do you work for? I'm from Unified. You work for Unified? Where this address is presidential, the corporate headquarters for presidential moving. Uh, I didn't know about it, nothing, really. Business filings show presidential employee Andre Shuklin as the registered agent for Unified. The next day, Unified had its federal operating license pulled. But that hasn't stopped them. They have four more active DOT numbers, and we've spotted movers loading and unloading at the warehouse every week since. Do you keep people's stuff in here when they can't afford to get their stuff out? Like when, when for the hostage moves, do you store people's stuff in here? Oh, I'm fine. I uh, understand you're good. Asbel says the feds, the state, someone needs to stop this company. Why are you allowing this to continue? We asked the state and the feds, why aren't they doing more to stop this? The DMV said they've done everything they can do. They've handed their investigation over to the attorney general's office. It's now up to the Texas AG if they will pursue enforcement. Doug Cayley, the good news here, customers like Riley have gotten their things back.